Step one, wash your hands. Okay, so we're starting off with a cup of water in the pot and half a stick of butter. Then you have to add your three tablespoons of brown sugar and a dash of salt. <laughs> now we're bringing it to a boil. Hola Natalie, ¿sabías que el español es el lenguaje oficial de España y es el lenguaje segundo más hablado en todo el mundo? I'm going to take it off the heat and add in one cup of flour, stirring vigorously until a doughy substance forms. Next, we're going to beat two eggs in a bowl and we're going to beat them. Yeah. Now we're going to add the two eggs to our dough. Mix slowly at first and then faster to combine the eggs with to make a pasty dough. This is what your dough should look like. De nuevo se comen 12 uvas a las 12 de la noche. Cada una cada uva significa un deseo para el año nuevo. We're going to add a tablespoon of cinnamon to a cup of sugar. Yeah, that's not good. Don't mix it. Mix it. <laughs> <laughs> Step is to scoop the dough into the bag. A little life hack for you is put it over a cup so it's easier and you can do it by yourself and you don't have to use teamwork. <laughs> and you're independent. Use your pastry bag and your star-shaped tip to put the dough into the hot oil. Then you cut them for your desired length and let them cook for two minutes. Churros son un platillo tradicional en España y cuando vas en la calle puedes pedir churros con chocolate. Once they're golden brown, take them out and drain them on a paper towel. Yeah. Hey Natalie! Yeah! Did you know that El Greco is one of the most famous painters of the Spanish Renaissance? He was oftentimes called the master of Spanish painting and his most famous work was his self-portrait. You're kidding! <laughs> Let your churros cool. You're gonna take them, roll them in your brown sugar until your desired amount of sugar. So sweet. Cheers. Mm. That one was so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, muy delicioso. <laughs> Look at this churro. It kind of looks like a horseshoe. And do you know what horses are like? What? Bulls. And have you ever heard of the running of the bulls? Adley, what is the running of the bulls? The running of the bulls is an event that involves running in front of a group of cattle that chases you down the streets of Spain. No way. That's so interesting. I know. I'd be really scared if I was chased by cattle. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Cut your potato. potato. <laughs> Next, you're gonna add half a cup of oil to a large skillet on medium heat. Thanks, Lainey. Vasco Nunez de Balboa was the first explorer to see the Pacific Ocean. Wait, and he was from Spain. <laughs> half the potatoes into your olive oil. For 15 to 20 minutes. Whoa, Natalie, Spain is so cool. Actually, the average temperature in Spain is 74 degrees in the hottest month of the year. And it's called the Kingdom of Spain. Put two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. Do you put all Next, we're gonna need some onion. Okay, catch. 
Dang, you're pretty good. Speaking of sports, the 1992 Summer Olympic Games were held in Barcelona, the capital of Cat Catalonia in Spain. Add in half of an onion chopped into your pan of oil. Cook them for 15-ish minutes until and cook them until they're golden brown. Once your potatoes are tender and your onions are golden brown, turn off the stoves and let them cool. After your first batch of potatoes is done, you can pour in the second over high heat. Want to hear something cool, Amy? What? Instead of a tooth fairy in Spain, they have a rat. What's it called? Ratoncito Perez. Six medium eggs into a large bowl. Transfer your whisked eggs into a large bowl and then gently fold in your grilled onions. Go. After stirring in your onions, gently fold in the potatoes and stir. You're waiting for your reserve oil to heat in your pan. Season your egg mixture to taste with salt and pepper. Once your oil mixture is heated up again, you're going to add in your egg mixture and cook for 8 to 10 minutes until the sides and the bottom are firm. Now comes the hard part. You're going to have to flip this over. So the easiest way to do it is to get a plate, slide this baby on here, Put the skillet back down and then flip the plate onto the skillet. The next step is even trickier, so you're going to want to grab a friend to help you. You're going to flip back over the pan on top of the, the tortilla espanola, and then you're going to have your friend lift the plate. Make sure not to burn yourself. And you're going to flip it. Ah! <laughs> I got a little Fun history fact. Did you know that the first modern humans arrived in Spain 32,000 years ago? Check to make sure that the bottom is golden brown, and then you're done. Transfer it to a plate. Yay. Garnish with some cilantro on the top, and then you're done. Enjoy your tortilla española.